What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what my favorite products have been for the past month of August. So it's been ages since I last filmed a monthly favorites video. I'm pretty sure it's been a few months, but today I do have a few goodies to show you guys. And if you have been watching my videos lately, then a lot of these products you will recognize. So if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button below and with that being said let's get into it so the first product that I have to show you guys is this bad boy right here now a lot of you would have seen my first impression video that I did on this face mask so yes this is the bougie bubble charcoal bubble face mask from bougie and co this is the actual packaging for the face mask right here now if you know me you know that I love pretty things like as soon as I see something that is aesthetically pleasing to my eye I have to know all about it and the fact that this is gold is just like speaking to me in some type of way. But yes, I, I love the packaging. Aside from that, the actual product itself is amazing. So essentially it is a sheet face mask and basically you apply it on the face, let it do its thing, and then all of a sudden these little oxygenated charcoal bubbles start doing their magic on your face and it feels so relaxing I love it I will leave a link to the actual video where I did the first impression somewhere on the screen so if you are interested don't forget to check that out but yeah I'm obsessed I've used these several times and honestly I I love them they're amazing I will leave all the links and all that good stuff down below so you know where to check them out as well but yes obsessed with the beauty bubble face masks. I have another skincare kind of product to show you guys, which is like an oldie, but a goodie, but I only recently just discovered it. I just know that a lot of people love it and you probably would have seen it, heard of it, or probably haven't used it yourself. This is the Frank Body Body Scrub. Yes, this was like all the hype back in the day on Instagram. I'm talking about it like as if it was ages ago, but I'm pretty sure, actually, maybe it was ages ago. But they recently just released in Mecca a few months ago and Honestly, I wasn't too phased by it, but I decided to just pick it up one day. I was in like a treat yourself kind of mood and I picked it up and I've been obsessed with this stuff ever since I used it the first time. And honestly, a little goes a long way. Like I've had this for a while, but my like little package is pretty full still. So I'm very pleased with the amount of product and the amount of uses you get out of just one bag. Um, but let me just open it up and show you guys. Okay. It looks like a bag of dirt. I don't know if you guys can see in there, but literally it looks like a bag of dirt. It smells so good though. Oh my goodness. I like, if you guys don't know me, I love coffee and I love coffee scented things. Mm, it smells so good. So this is basically a coffee body scrub which works amazingly when it comes to exfoliating your skin. Now you girls and guys out there who use fake tan, I'm sure this stuff would really help when it comes to making sure your skin is nice and smooth with application of the tan. Me however, I've never actually done fake tan so I don't know how the whole process goes but I just love to feel smooth. I love to have smooth skin. So whenever I feel like I need to give myself a really good exfoliation of my body, I will just go ahead and scrub this all over when I'm in the shower and it rinses off really easily and because it does have things like vitamin E oil and almond oil it really does help to give your skin that extra bit of moisturization that you may need especially because it is winter currently here in Australia although we are you know just coming out of it it's still a little bit cold and with winter comes dry flaky crusty skin so it's very important to make sure that you keep yourself nice and exfoliated and moisturized and that is why I love this stuff right here moving on to the next product you guys probably would recognize this because I did use it recently in my updated brow tutorial this is the Chi Chi brow pomade my one is in the shade medium brow brown brown yeah medium brown and I'm sure you guys know that I have a lot of love for my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade that stuff is bomb but if you're looking for a cheaper alternative this is it right here and I kind of do favor this over the Anastasia one only because I feel like the undertone of the brown in this suits my skin tone a lot better the dark brown for the Anastasia dip brow pomade is a little more warm 
for my liking, which does suit some people, but for me, I just don't think it really suits me. So I like the color this one has to offer a lot better. I feel like the formula of this pomade is a little more smoother, but a lot easier to waste in comparison to the ABH one. I just feel like it's a lot easier to pick up a lot on your brush and wipe off the excess, but I really do love it. And for the price, this is super inexpensive. You can find this at Target or Maya if you live here in Australia, or you can order it directly from their Chi Chi Cosmetics website. But honestly, I love this brow pomade and it's all I've been using for my brows ever since I picked up a new one. Next up, I have a primer to show you guys, which is definitely an oldie bit of goodie. I recently rediscovered it and I was like, damn, why did I stop using you? So this is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Pure Light Primer. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand so you can kind of see it in action. As you can see, it is very runny and white and pearly in consistency. Let me just blend it out for you guys so you can see. Very shimmery. It looks metallic, like it gives you that Tin Man action. It does look a little bit intimidating at first, but once you blend it into the skin, it gives your skin the nicest sheen. Like, look at that. That glow though, but it's not too intense, which I love. It's just like a healthy glow. I'm obsessed. And I've really been liking to use this on the days when I don't want to wear any face makeup, but I just want to, you know, look put together. I'll do my brows, put some of this primer on, and I'm good to go. It doesn't look crazy. I know you might think that it would look crazy, like I'd be walking around the streets looking like Tin Man, but honestly, it just gives your face a really nice, healthy, pick-me-up type of glow, and that is exactly what I've been using it for. But it's also really great under foundation. I feel like I've been using it under a lot of my foundations lately, and it just gives your face that extra bit of boost that you need. This is definitely a must-try product that I recommend to you guys. You can find it at your local drugstore, so if you have not tried it, definitely go and check it out and tell me what you think of it. Plus, the fact that it is drugstore, I mean, it's super inexpensive so definitely a product that I've been loving a lot this month. Now I have another primer to show you and I just had to share it with you guys because I've honestly been using it pretty much every single day this month. So this is the Inoxa Pure Silk Skin Primer. Now you can find this from Priceline. I know that it is available there but I'm not sure if Inoxa is a brand that is available overseas. I'd have to double check on that but this primer man like I'm obsessed. So as you can see, it's clear. I probably squeezed out a little bit too much, but as you can see, it is a little runny in consistency and it is clear, but it just makes your skin, man. It makes it feel so smooth. It smooths out all of the fine lines and any pores that are on your skin. I, I put way too much on the back of my hand. Not that you can tell the difference, but honestly, on my face, man, this makes my makeup look absolutely flawless. And I really feel like it does a great job of making my makeup last that little bit longer on my face. Considering the fact that I do have oily skin now, I did go through a phase where I did have dry skin while I was on Accutane. But your girl is back, oily skin girl is back, and my skin is definitely oilier than ever. This has helped a lot to help control the oils on my face. And I don't know what it is about this, you guys. Like, obviously, it does smooth out all the lines and pores on my face, makes it feel really smooth but when I take my makeup off at night I almost feel like it's done some good for my skin call me crazy like I almost feel like it's a skincare product in itself I have to look into the ingredients and see whether that is a thing but honestly my skin has been feeling and looking so smooth lately and I really have to put it down to this because ever since I started using this primer I feel like my skin has changed for the better and yeah I'm just obsessed and I've had a lot of people comment on my skin lately and tell me that it looks really nice and me to say, you know, just saying. Next up, we have the Fancy Tampon Mascara. This, of course, is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. It's just in their limited edition unicorn packaging that they did in a collection a few months ago. I did pick it up and I had this sitting in my drawers and I didn't open it for the longest time because I do kind of like to use up my mascaras before I go opening a new one. But I recently did start using this and I'm obsessed. Definitely the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara by Tarte is one to check out. I've always been a little bit iffy when it came to mascaras because we all know that we see those ads on TV where the lashes look hella long and they look amazing, they look bomb. And then you put it on yourself and it's just like, why did you play me like that? So this mascara is definitely a must try. It is one of, if not my favorite formula for a mascara and I know that I definitely will be repurchasing it when I use this one up. I don't know what it is about it, like it just has the most basic standard applicator when it comes to the brush. 
but the formula man it just makes my lashes look amazing like it gives them a lot of volume makes them look extra dark and thick and just everything that I need in mascara. I have one lip product to show you guys, which you think I would have more, but honestly, you guys see them all the time. All I ever wear is the same nudes over and over again. This is a nude, but it is a little more pinky in tone, in my opinion. So this is the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil. I only just realized that you could use it on your cheeks as well. For me personally, I don't think I'd ever be using it for that. But this is the one in the shade Whisper. Mine is looking a little jacked up because I do use it pretty much every single day. Day, like when I'm going to work or whatever I feel like it's a really nice everyday kind of shade but let me just swatch it for you guys real quick yeah that is definitely a me kind of shade it's like a nude but I feel like it has a pinky tone to it which I have been really into lately you guys know I love my nudes but this has been like my everyday lip pencil lipstick even though it is a pencil it's a lipstick Maybelline does have a similar product I can't remember what it's called though but I used to be really obsessed with one particular shade from that range it pretty much looks the exact same as this packaging wise but these ones you can pick up from Sephora here in Australia I haven't seen them anywhere else I actually did get this in a um, what is it called? My advent calendar, like last year for Christmas. You know how you get those little advent calendars? I had a beauty one and that's where I got this one from. But I definitely will be checking out the other shades because the formula of this is insane. And I feel like it's one of those lip products that you can put on and you don't have to worry about throughout the day. I hate when I apply a bomb ass looking lip color and then it gets all crusty and gross and then you're left looking like a mess in the middle of the day. This is totally not one of those products. You can put this on and and continue to apply over the top and it will still look amazing so definitely check out the lip and cheek pencils from nude sticks we are down to the last product which is actually like my ride or die oldie but a goodie always have loved this but I've never really shown it to you guys so this is a perfume this is the Chloe by Chloe original scent I'm pretty sure that's what it's called Correct me if I'm wrong, I've been using it for years, so I don't know how I can't know this right now. But yes, this is the Chloe perfume. You guys, this is my ride or die. Like ever since I first smelled this scent back in the day, I think I was a teenager when I first smelled the scent of this, and I was like, that is me. Like that is my scent right there. I wish you guys could smell it, man. Like it's just, uh, I, I can't even describe the scent because it smells like no other perfume that I've ever smelled before. It's just me in a bottle. Like this is me right here. The other perfume that I do love to use is the YSL Black Opium, but I feel like that is a little stronger for everyday wear. I do prefer to use that like on a night out or something, but this, Mmm, this is it right here. Let me just let me just douse myself in this. Yes. Honestly, I will never get sick of this scent. Like this is literally my ride or die scent. I cannot say that enough times, but honestly it is. And I actually think this is something that I will continue to wear for the rest of my life. Like this will be my wedding day scent. Like I already know what perfume I'm gonna be wearing to my wedding and this is it right here. If you ever see this in the department store, definitely go and check it out because this is it. This is exactly what I smell like every day. If you want to know what I smell like, then check this out. <laughs> That's so weird. Never mind. Oh, actually, that wasn't my last product. I have one more product to show you guys, and you're probably going to be like, oh my gosh, like, of course. But yes, I've been loving this, and I have to share it with you. Dun, 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 dun. The Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette that they did in collaboration with one another. You guys know that I've been loving this. I actually did have one of these for my giveaway. Congratulations to the winner girl. She finally got it and she loves it. So I'm just so happy that I was able to give one of these to you guys. But I mean, let's just let the palette speak for itself. Yeah, like, oh, this palette is everything to me, you guys. Honestly, my favorite shade, if you're wondering, out of this entire palette is this one right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's called Creamsicle. The Creamsicle is definitely the shade that I fell in love with when I first opened this palette and when I first got to put it on my eyes. Honestly, it is such an amazing shade and this whole entire palette was worth it just for that one shade. I don't know a lot of you guys are thinking like, what about the pretty shimmery ones? Like, yes, they are nice, but I feel like we've seen them before. Like, obviously you can never have too many warm toned shimmery shades, but 
just this creamsicle shade. It gets me every time. I'd have to say if I could only use one eyeshadow palette for the rest of my life, this would be it right here, which is a very big statement, but honestly, just this palette, like it has everything you could ever need in an eyeshadow palette. It has all the beautiful, warm tones that we all know and love, but it also has those extra little pops of color, which are really fun for when you want to be a little more extra with it. But this palette is just everything to me. I've been obsessed and I have to like resist the urge to use it in every single video. I've been finding that I always want to use it for my tutorials, but I'm sure you guys are getting sick of it. So I've kind of put it to the side, but still it is definitely a favorite. It has been and it probably always will be a favorite for me. Alrighty guys, that's everything. Those are all of my favorites for the past month of of August. I really do hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, you may as well hit the little red subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos I post. I will list everything that I spoke about in this video in the description box down below so if you're keen on finding out more about them, everything will be in the description box along with all of the links to my social media accounts. So if you want to catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat or Facebook, all that good stuff is down below. Anyways, that is pretty much it. Let me know what your current favorites have been because I'm always keen to test out new things. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I'll catch you all in my next video. Stay glowing.